Hi everybody. June 2nd, 2019. It is 1.52 p.m. on the East Coast. It is 11.52 in Texas. You are watching a directed energy weapon suppress precipitation in Texas with two hits. See this line, very defined, extremely low frequency, and the precipitation dies. What are they doing up here in Illinois? Oh, I may have to go to another video to show you. It looks like they have turned off. Looks like they have turned off the extremely low frequencies that they were shooting off Illinois right through the Mississippi River into Iowa. So let me bring it up. This was literally uh, going on for about an hour. Well, from the time that I got on the site, they're shooting off extremely low frequencies, very powerful, extremely low frequencies, right through the Mississippi River, extremely low frequencies emitted through the ground, loosen up soil. Levees breaching, levees falling apart, giving way, yes, to Mother Nature, the force of the water? My God. Our, our extreme sickness in accepting lies is killing us. This was at 9.27 a.m. today. Look at the frequencies being set off from Alabama right on up to North Carolina but look at these frequencies in Nebraska Iowa and uh, I slow it down and zoom in but Missouri Iowa um, Nebraska and Kansas So, yeah, I have never seen frequencies like this in this area of the country, but I am seeing things every single day. And what am I saying? I've never seen anything like it. What a whole lot of Americans who are having to live through this war, weather being used as a weapon, um, the flooding that is taking place, how many are saying, I've never seen anything like it, never seen anything like it, never seen anything like it. Well, when you've never seen anything like it, something unprecedented, it requires, well, unprecedented behavior on the part of the individual, and they have to do the research to find out what the hell is going on. They can't just continue to listen to the mainstream media to their government officials lying to them continually, they accepting the lies, because that is what is destroying us. And last night I saw a whole lot of those, you know, storms being generated and well, I'll bring it up. This was at 1.22 a.m. And here, um, weather just doesn't look like weather anymore. I mean, you get these, these blips of precipitation all over, all over. Um, and storms just erupting out of thin air all over the country, but 
you know, these storms in uh, Texas that, well, it just goes on and on. How they are generated in one area, which is generally the central or northwest area. No, they don't seem to be coming in from the Gulf. They're generated on land, this precipitation. So I'm seeing all of these storms taking place um, in Texas, and I'm wondering what is going on. Well, they got hammered. So this was at 122. I have another one that I took at um, 2 a.m. And then this morning I wake up to a email from a subscriber who lives in the Dallas area and she sent along a video to me and let me show it to you. It's on Facebook. This happened in her son's area where her son lives, Sanger. Texas. Sanger, Texas. And for those who don't like cursing, stick your fingers in your ears. I'll give you to three. Ready? One, two, three. She said, I am really fucking angry. Now this is a subscriber who has had conversations with representatives, has written to representatives in her area of Texas who called the director of the Texas Weather Modification Association, who conducts weather modification operations in Texas, and in that conversation that she had with him, he laughed at her. He laughed at her. And just like an awful lot of people who are awake and who have been active are now dealing with so many medical issues like she is. There's very little that she can do. So many of us going down trying to educate people, trying to wake people up, trying whatever they could do and it turns out Yeah, to be for naught. To be for naught. Why do I say that? Look at what is occurring. And look at how many people still are acting like kids. I'm not going to do the research. You're just crazy. I'm not going to look into weather modification or geoengineering. I'm just going to pretend that everything, everything is fine except for that climate change. It's the climate change, yeah that that great lie and I'm gonna believe what my mainstream media reporters say I'm gonna believe this lie about climate change this lie that there is 97 percent of scientists who claim that this is caused by man or cows farting or you driving a truck or a SUV Oh, it's caused because you're, you live uh, close to a river or a pond or a lake or a, there's a puddle and it's going to cause flooding to your home. She also said that her son's home, his roof was damaged, his wife's car was damaged. Why? Because of an awful lot of hail. They got, yeah, those golf ball or softball or baseball size hell that comes down now and destroys cars. But it's climate change. It must be climate change. You can go to any military document. Virtually, there's like even this one here, an operational analysis for Air Force 2025, an application of value-focused thinking 
to future air and space capabilities. Yeah, let's 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 discuss how we can destroy and kill and and all of our methods in doing so because we're just so proud to be serving the great American people. Yes, we kill, we destroy. We even kill and destroy Americans, which is what they're doing right now. So, uh, in any document, do a control F and then put in keywords, and then hit enter, and it will bring up like what I've done. Weather modification, you can't see it, but weather modification, oh. Let's just check it out. Weather modification. Ah, what's this? Limited weather modification uses. This is the Global Area Strike System. Yes. And one of the capabilities is weather modification. Oh, let's go to the next one. It's a white paper on weather modification. Next one. Possible application and weather modification. What's this? Solar powered high energy laser system. Wow. They can use that for weather modification? Yes. What is this? Solar energy optical weapon could potentially be used for weather modification. And what's this? Weather analysis and modification system? Ah, a diverse set of weather modification tools allows manipulation of small to medium scale weather phenomena to enhance friendly force capabilities and degrade those of the adversary. And guess what, Americans? You are the adversary. The capabilities, understanding and predicting local weather effects on military operations, precipitation inducement, mm, or suppression. Precipitation suppression? How did they do that? Precipitation suppression using particulate seeding or directed energy. Directed energy? Could that be the directed energy of extremely low frequencies to bust up precipitation? I think so. Yeah. Precipitation inducement, meaning to bring on precipitation or suppression, to shut it down. There you go, your directed energy weapon doing just that. What else can they do? Fog generation, dissipation, using directed energy techniques, storm triggering and storm enhancement, using airborne cloud seeding, high power microwave and HPM. Devices, ground-based and isopheric I, ionis, ionospheric, yes, I have said that word very often in my videos, ionospheric mirrors, I'm sure I, doesn't sound right, ah, extremely low frequencies, microwaves, Wi-Fi, well, it blitzes out your brain, um, mirrors for communication and radar enhancement disruption, ionospheric charging for spacecraft disruption using crossed high-powered microwave beams. Well, this is what you get. Amarillo, Texas. Texas Weather Modification Association posts on YouTube their meetings where they discuss the bringing on of rain induced by man in counties in Texas. It's posted on YouTube. But no, I'm not going to believe you. You're crazy. Man isn't doing this. This is Mother Nature. This is climate change. We better we better do something because in 12 years that's it we only have 12 years left according to
crazy nut job. Ocasio Cortez. Well, another town goes under. Water right now. Got a good six inches in the spot. Where it ends, but yeah, that ended town like over by the high school. I know is pretty flooded too. Dang. I know one lady said that she lived here most of her life and never seen it like this. Never seen it like this. Never seen it like this. That's all we're hearing now. This. Uh, now I'm not sure I can get back to the original video. No, it's now, now this crap. Smollett. Well, it was a good video of the flooding that is taking place. New flooding that is taking place. In so many areas, you know, I was listening to this video and this man talking about how God, it was God that uh, sank the barges that hit the dam. It was God that sank the barges that saved people. I don't, I, you know, look, this kind of thinking has always been like a wonder to me. God saved the people from whatever was going to happen with the barges. God sinking the barges quickly. What about all the people that God isn't saving? Is God up there selecting who to save and who not to save? I got a comment from somebody yesterday underneath a video. Trump. It was Trump. Well, a lot of people think God actually appointed Trump to be president. Okay, well, uh, he wrote, well, at least, God, uh, at least Trump gave us a few years to prepare. Really? Wow. And what about all of the people who are being destroyed on a daily basis? Uh, are you just ignoring them? they just off your radar? You just want to believe that you have been given by Trump a couple of years to prepare while so many are being destroyed all around you. So Trump selected you like God selected people in the area wherever you think you know, they were going to be flooded out because of these barges that did, I, it doesn't even matter. It's just that kind of thinking, you know, and I hear it often. This selective thinking that allows people to believe whatever they want to believe that makes them feel good, but somehow God, ah, well, he missed tens of thousands of Americans who are going down because of all of this flooding up and down central United States. Oh, okay, great. You know, it's belief. Belief does not equal fact or truth. It's just a belief. And this causes delusion. Delusion in one's mind. <clears throat> and this idea that, you know, Trump gave us a couple of years. It's so fucking narcissistic, that thinking. Because you're not destroyed. You just ignore all that are getting destroyed every single day. And you want to believe you know, that Trump 
is, well, he's the savior, or, eh, well, maybe he's not the savior, but at least he gave us a couple of years. You know, if we had Hillary, we wouldn't have had any time to prepare. Oh, my God. It's frightening. But it's such a slap in the face to everyone who is getting destroyed. Burlington. Burlington goes under now. The work broke. The pass goes to the low spot and it just gave way. Sand washed out. Another town goes under. You know, I came across this Twitter page. There are many people sitting in shelters now. Uh, uh, it's... I don't understand Twitter. Why is it that they don't post, <coughs> excuse me, in chronological order? They don't. So you have videos different days or pictures of different days. This is not, you know, look at the sky. I mean, look at the sky and people can't see that something is wrong there. They can't see it. It's something, you know, I look, I film for what? It hasn't mattered, but, you know, this is the sky here in Anderson, South Carolina. All different colors, but when it is a day that, well, it's supposed to be like no clouds in the sky. Now this actually looks blue, <laughs> this sky when you film it. When you look at it, it looks like a very, very, very light gray blue. That is not our sky. Something's wrong there with our sky. And then, of course, you look at the trees. And in the years that I've been living here in Anderson, these trees, it is heartbreaking to see how these trees, wow, have gotten so much worse. They're so sick. The fungal disease, they're cracking. They're screaming out. We are dying. We are dying. Well, what do people do? Ignore them. Ignore them. They don't care. Oh, and I've tried to have many conversations with people. They do not care. And every tree, except for the crepe myrtle, I have seen these trees get so much worse. That's why they're coming down with such ease. Oh, you're fed that. Oh, well, the soil is saturated. Well, when they're uprooting themselves, falling down, do you see any roots? No. Could it be that they are spraying toxic chemicals and heavy metals into the atmosphere that come down, that we breathe, and these trees also breathe, and these trees are getting so sick and they're so weakened and they are their immune systems shot well all of those toxic chemicals like the aluminum and barium and strontium and lithium it's coming right on down going into the soils destroying the root systems destroying their immune systems and nobody cares May 30 so we're having a heat wave, black carbon dust, a, uh, a very common substance that they use to modify the weather and to bring about heat waves. Black carbon dust sprayed into the atmosphere and then it spreads out and they can cause the temperature of regions to rise quickly. So we're having a heat wave, and I see all this black carbon dust sprayed into the sky. Now, anybody 
would look at that sky and say, oh my God, what the hell is going on? Well, you don't hear that. Are people that detached from nature that they cannot see what is smacked in their face? Trees screaming, we are dying. We are dying every single day on their own property. I'm driving down a road and a huge limb off an oak tree was sitting in the road. It fell off the oak tree. It must have been a beautiful tree. But now, the limbs look arthritic. The leaves are so tiny. The trunk of the tree, it's so diseased. And it's just sitting on that property and has been for years. Years. And all of the trees look the same now. They're so sick. But so is this sky. And people are oblivious. Oblivious. This is really a natural cloud. You know, it's not only a, a sign of, uh, well, let's say, a weakened moral core within the individual when they lie, but there's also a weakened moral core when you accept lies and don't hold people accountable for those lies. And the fact that we have so many Americans who will not get off the lie, they, they just don't want to disturb their comfort. They don't want to do anything to change. And it's well, the acceptance of the lie, the climate change, the uh, refusal to do any kind of research on weather modification or geoengineering, <laughs> well, a whole lot of people's comfort has been destroyed. And more, it's coming to more and more of people. More, more people are going to get destroyed. Lies destroy. They just destroy. So you can flip through this Twitter page and you can see um, all of the, the roads that have crumbled all over. Uh, the sinkholes. You can see the massive flooding. All of the farms taken out. Um, levees breaching. This is how people are living. This is a horse. This is a horse being rescued. And there are videos of the cowboys in Oklahoma coming together, helping one another save cows. So many cows have died. I mean, it, it just doesn't stop. So they have really brought brought it on, boy, and it's not going to stop, you know. Two-thirds, I heard this news broadcast, two-thirds of the country will experience flooding this year. Look at this sky. Look, this is not a natural sky. This is a manufactured sky. These are not natural clouds. When you see how defined they are, clouds are circular. They're not, they don't come out as 
these defined, you know, right angled clouds. People aren't, you know, it's like common sense is gone. Everything, logic is gone. Uh, and that means that we're a lost people. And lost people are very vulnerable to those who have an agenda. They get hurt. Lost people get hurt and destroyed. You know, you know you're lost when you can't see that your own trees are sick and dying. You know you're lost when you can't see how unbelievably radically changed is the sky. You know you're lost when you can't do what adults do and act with maturity and you're an adult so you take on responsibility. You do the research instead you're immature and you lash out at people and call them crazy and conspiracy theorists. That's a lost people. So I'll link below to everything. Um, a whole lot of areas in the last two days have been towns going under, whole towns. No, it's levees breaching Jefferson Jefferson City. There was a breach. Jefferson City is being evacuated. You know, it's um, hard to keep up. This is in Arkansas. No, Missouri. Sorry, Jackson County. Can't keep up with how many, you know, counties are being flooded out. More and more farms going under. But when you look at this flooding, don't just think about the crop loss. Think about what it does to the individual, then the family, the income gone, their homes flooded out. Think about all of the animals who are dying every single day. Now, a lot of people will feel things about animals dying and less do they feel about humans dying. Horses, cows, deer, turkeys, I mean, the list is endless. Endless. And homes in parts of North Little Rock are slowly succumbing to the rising waters. Mark Salinger joins us now live in the Willow Beach neighborhood where people are evacuating. Right, Mark? Yeah, hey guys, the water here in Willow Beach has already the taken over the, the game. It's gone down. Which one way is it going to go? While well, the referee is saying, cool. sorry. They try and make it through only to find out that the water is far deeper than it may look from out here. Now, neighbors and people who live here are already packing up all of their belongings as the water begins to surround their homes. Now, I want to give you a perspective from above to show the true scope of how much water there is. Water is completely surrounding these homes, already making it inside many of them. People are using sandbags to try and keep the floods out, but for many, it's simply not enough. The mayor of North Little Rock was out in the neighborhood today and says we still haven't seen the worst going to get worse. I, I think we've got at least 10 more inches before we hit the crest and I'm scared to death of rain. So if, if we get the crest on Tuesday and it rains on Tuesday, uh, then we're going to have a lot more damage than we're anticipating right now. And guess what? They're going to bring it on. They're going to create that rain. Just north of St. Louis, you'll find West Alton County. It's a farming community on a floodplain sandwiched between the Mississippi and Missouri rivers. People here are familiar with spring flooding, but this year it hasn't stopped. 
I never thought I would see this flood, this water this high again after 93. They told us that was a 500 year flood, but with all the levees they built along the river, there's no floodplain anymore. So, you know, it has nowhere to go when uh, we have this much snow melt. Snow melted in March and sent a surge of water down the Mississippi River and its tributaries, the Illinois, Missouri and Arkansas rivers. Record flooding drove thousands from their homes. A state of emergency was declared in Wisconsin, Iowa and Nebraska. But then the spring rain started and made the situation worse downstream, affecting wide swaths of the Midwest. Farmers say they felt the economic impact. But usually by this time the corn is 90% planted. Right now, I think it's they, last I read it was 37% planted. So, you know, the farmers are just devastated. As communities have been evacuated, businesses have also suffered. This fuel station is the only one still open in West Alton. Its manager is filling more boats and fewer cars as rivers become the new thoroughfare. Rivers become the new thoroughfare, and that's true because so many people are they can't use their cars. They're using boats to get through. And there are pockets of uh, communities that are literally now an island and they can't move anywhere. They're stuck. You know, I can't bring uh, in one video the, the scale of flooding that has been taking place, but I started this playlist back in, uh, God, maybe two months ago, and looked at how much I have. Did I say playlist? I'm sorry. This is a bookmark file, and this is the flooding that has gone on in about two months all over. I don't bookmark the same um, articles or videos. The flooding has been so extraordinary and yes I believe that you know the powers that be uh, gave instruction to bring about massive destruction certainly in central United States, get rid of those farms, get rid of those people, do it and start picking up the pace to get rid of them. And so many people are being gotten rid of. So please don't tell me that God saved you and didn't save tens of thousands of people just in the last two months. Don't tell me that Trump has given us years to prepare while he gave no time to tens of thousands who have already been destroyed.